Hey guys, Spooks here. Today I'm going to be saying how to get all of the accommodations uh, maxed for campaign on Halo Reach. As you can see, I've got a few maxed already and I've got some that I've not even touched yet. But I know how to get every single one of these, so basically I'm going to jump right into it. And the first one that I'm going to do is the uh, only saw base one, you know, the one that everyone knows how to do. Basically, that gets the accommodations for walking tanks, splash damage, spec ops. Leadership element, cannon fodder, and super soldier all in one. So, if you don't know how to set it up, uh, I recommend anything from normal, heroic, legendary. Legendary is probably a no, but I normally go heroic for some reason. I normally put scoring on for no reason, and if you put these on, it gets you more points, but there's literally no reason for it, so I'm going to put them in anyway, because why not? So, obviously, start up the uh, mission. It's going to take some time to load up, so. I don't know how I'm gonna kill this time. Oh, it starts right away. Let's go. Skip this cutscene because we don't. We're not bored about cutscenes. You're gonna start. Oh, hold on. My, my settings are kind of messed up from uh, leaving my controller. Okay, what am I doing? There we go. Not inverted and default. Right. Okay. There we go. We're gonna want to kill this lovely elite. My vibration is turned off for some reason, which I'm not happy with. I'm nearly just died because of that. Okay. Hopefully this thing's not right. This could, what you've got to do is you've got to wait for this to drop down. Wait for the elite to drop down from the middle. Because if you see in the phantom, it drops down from over there. There you go. And you got to run. Jump over this, whatever the hell that is, and keep moving. Uh, you're going to want, want to actually take damage on your way here. That help, That makes sure that you can get the checkpoint as late as possible. You're going to want to grab your good old target locator. Fire it up there, walk all the way to the back, and it should. There you go. Should get a kill in every time. Revert to last save, blah blah blah. So, like I said, that gets uh, all those comms that I said at the beginning. That's uh, walking tank, splash damage, spec ops, leadership element, cannon fodder, and super soldier, I'm pretty sure. Gets all those maxed. Obviously, I'm not getting any, getting any XP for it because I've got all these maxed already except from cannon fodder and super soldier. Uh, you'll probably get them two really quickly and it'll just What I would do normally is about 10-15 minutes uh, every day You don't want to spend too much time doing it 10-15 minutes every day because then the time in the bottom corner is timer So yeah 10-15 minutes every day of it and I got the, the I got the, the first one done in like a day second one in like two days uh, Spec Ops took a little bit longer Leadership element took like four five days and I'm still working on these two uh, next up, let's see, you can, right, this is a harder one, I'll try and get this one, but, do I want heroic? I'll have normal. Right, so this is going to be boosting, uh, it will be walking tank, and, yeah, w walking tank, but we've already got that done, if you do it the way that I'm doing it, and nice arm, you will be boosting that, and you can also, if you can get a second friend in here, you can boost up your support role which me and my friend were doing yesterday for about three hours that's why my control layout was all messed up because i just left the rubber band on for a couple hours to sort it out for me so you start with your good old nightfall do whatever you want put whatever settings on you want but whatever <laughs> if you want to continue you're going to find this elite you're going to want to kill it quietly right there you go I need to turn vibration and I'll do it in a sec. Kill the, the grunts. We're gonna, because if you kill the, kill the grunts, he doesn't get a uh, June decided to do everything. You look down there, you see, oh, there's a grunt and a couple of crap. So you want to angle it up from that pillar, up, back all the way up against the wall, and then go all the way to the top, then move down slightly and throw a need. Throw two just to be sure, then sprint over here. You should possibly, hopefully, checkpoint done. There you go. Revert to last save. You're getting your, you're getting your nay kills. And the way you do it with a, a friend is, right, for assists, you get your friend to camp, to stand the, like there. He can, you throw your two nades up in the air, you say go to him, he throws the nade down directly at them. You get the, you get it on like legendary or heroic so it only hurts them. And that nade will be, will just damage them and my nades that I'm throwing up will get the kill. So I run over here, I get like a free grenade kills and he gets this assist. So you can just flip that around and do whatever. Okay, so that's two done already, and which is pretty well more than two. That's two of the boosting ways done. Next, let's have a look. 
I can do pinpoint cannon fodder and precisely right now. So you are going to want to go to the packet. No, not the message start. Mission Bravo. Yeah. Is it Mission Bravo? That oh, rally point Bravo. Sorry. Load it up and uh, I put a vibration on real quick. Cause this is annoying me. I play with vibration. Deal with it. <laughs> so. This one will take a little bit longer because as you can see that's 20,000 kills, the rest are kind of around 10,000, so 20,000 kills for our infantry, but I should get this done fairly soon. Pinpoint will take a while as well, and precisely is 10,000 just for silver, so yeah. Head sh pinpoint's headshots precisely is uh, precision weapons. So you're going to want to start up your mission, as you would. You're going to spawn in the glacier, well it's firefight map glacier, so you're in glacier. and you spawned in and you come down here you gotta listen for like forever for all this like dialogue and all that crap so you can pretty much just mess around like whoa look at the amazing scenery what the hell is that it's a banshee there you go you gotta I don't know if you actually have to do this but I would recommend doing it you gotta uh, wait for this to be ready so this guy finishes talking in a second there you go and Oh, he's not finished yet. He's, he's got a lot of dialogue that you can't skip, which is kind of annoying. Now you, now you press the button. You run your whole ass all the way back over here. Jump on there. Keep moving. Hopefully you don't fall in that gap. Jump and land on here. And as you can see, eight grunts just dropped. Well, four, and it'll be dropped away in a second. There you go. That's eight grunts. I'm being shot. But it, this should work. You should just sit here. Have your pinpoint. There you go. Checkpoint done. Kill them all. Kill Tassery, do it again. Just revert to last checkpoint, blah 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 blah, works every time. See, sometimes you don't get headshots for some reason, but you know, it works. You can make it so that they're closer uh, in different ways. I'm not sure, it, you just have to, it's just luck based, I feel like, at this point. That's what the uh, assist one was for me and my friend yesterday, just complete luck base, but there you go. So that right there is. Cannon fodder, pinpoint, and precisely, so we're done. Right, now I need to do vehicles. The vehicles will take longer. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, you can do standard issue on, on that one as well. I forgot to mention that. You can switch to your assault rifle and just run at them and kill them as well. I'm pretty sure, yeah, you can. You just do that. That's how you get uh, assault rifle ones. I, sorry about that, I forgot. Now, for this one, you're going to go to Rally Point Alpha on Long Night of Solace. Keep you keep your gear the same, and this is going to get you both walking tank. I think maybe splash damage, leadership element it should do. Kind of bottom maybe. Super if super soldier if you're lucky, right of way and war machine, and that's it. So <clears throat> yeah. It's really awkward lo loading up all the things, as you can guess, but... Right, you got to do all this... Literally, you got to do all this, so I'll cut all this out. But you're going to wait until you get to the part with the, with the Corvette. So I'll uh, cut to that for you guys, so you don't have to live through all this boring flying around business in space, where you're doing nothing. And you've got like a minute and a half flipping cutscene of George just dancing around in space for no reason. That you can't actually skip. So this this takes some time, so I recommend just putting it on like an easy difficulty like normal, because you don't want to be dying and wasting time. Because you want to be effective and efficient. <laughs> okay, here we go, here's the cover. So what we're going to do is, we're going to straight up just fly at it and uh, Destroy an engine and then duck straight down immediately because you're going to get a checkpoint like a second and a half later. So you want to get kind of close. That checkpoint's concerning, but it's not important. So you want to scoot down here and shoot and then scum down here. Just get your assault rifle. Well, your turrets out. Duck down. Boop, 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 And yeah, just do that. Farm them all. That was a kill you know, right there. There you go. That gets you super soldier, multi-kills, and uh, banshee kills as well. A vehicle kills. 
like killing vehicles and being killed by vehicles. I've been in this mission for a long ass time. As you can see in the corner. Alright, there you go. That's how you do it. Save and quit. The only annoying part about that is the fact that you have to keep listening to the same bit of dialogue over and over and over. So I recommend just turning your game volume down, listening to some music and chilling out. That's what I do normally. So, what else have we got? We have got all of this done. Done, 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 done. Oh, demon. Alright. Demon and Flawless Cowboy. I will do that in a little bit later, but that is literally all of them that so far. I will come back to you after I get Demon and Flawless Cowboy. And yeah. Okay, so. To get the Flawless Cowboy and Demon, you'll want to uh, get this mission, Winter Contingency, up. Put it on Heroic. Because obviously you need to get need to for for flawless cowboy not die on legendary or heroic difficulty, which is obviously why you need to put it on heroic. Da -da. Right, that elite was lasting forever, but basically I've grabbed this shotgun from the room behind me. Uh, I'm only starting this recording now just to ask: Do you want me to do some more stuff like this in the future, my dear man? Is out of ammo? I need to go with my pistol. This is pretty need. I need to wait. Now I need to go. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, pistol where you are. My pistol's despawned. Real. That is not good. Somebody's died over here, what weapon do you have? An assault rifle. Absolutely brilliant. Right, the best way to go around get doing this is to get a plasma pistol. To charge it up, find my sexy elite friend. And great. That gets his shields down, and hopefully he should die. There we go. I think that's all of them. Yep, that's all of them. Oh no, one more. There you go. That's all of them dead. That should be fine. Right. I want your your Dimmer. Give me a DMR. No, I don't want your assault rifle. Come back. Oh my god, you're so awkward. There we go. Up on you, good old Duda. And get to your next location. Oh, this takes forever. I'm sorry. I apologize for this taking forever. But yeah, do you want me to do more stuff like this in the future? I'm pretty much only doing this because there are videos on the internet of people doing this, but... Obviously, uh, none of them are all in the same video, so I'm trying to get it all in the same video with timestamps in the description, so you know where to go. So, if you didn't notice already, timestamps are in the description. I probably put it all the at the beginning of the video, saying like in the bottom corner or something. But yeah, I can probably maybe do stuff like this for multiplayer as well as, and firefight. So you can, tr I can try to get you like all the comms, tell you how to get them all, the best, most efficient ways to do it, like I am doing now, and. I can also, for Halo 5, do do something like this. I could maybe get you to get Opus, which, well, it, it controversy on that video because you'll have to, a lot of the time, get to a lower rank, which isn't really fair on most players that have a lower rank. But if you want videos like that, I can supply if you wish. So just. I want feedback, so tell me in the description what do you want. Well, not in the description, obviously, in the comments, you know what I mean. I don't have a Spartan charge, I just remembered. How am I going to deal with this? Oh well, I can use its cover. Hello. My only concern right now is that I die from one of these Zealot Elites. Not, not right now, but with later on. So obviously, again, you're going to have to wait, because you don't want the... Uh, Spirit to kill you, is it spirit? I'm pretty sure it's a spirit. Yeah, it's a spirit. Because spirit's turrets are very OP. Nothing else in the game really is. Except for maybe a suicide grunt. Right, move out of the way of that again because it's going to kill me otherwise. The music's really intense for no reason, so... <laughs> I'm kind of just, you know, just sat back here, intense music, you know, loving it.
Let's throw a couple of nades down. Oh my god, George, you nearly killed me. Right, where's this uh, elf pack? Just to make sure I don't die. I really don't want to be dying right now because that would be humiliating as well as annoying. Right, cat's done. So, hopefully they can somehow manage to back their way into here. The, the one that normally takes the longest to get back is actually Emil, who's for some reason not doing anything about getting back. So it's probably best to kill some enemies as well. I need you to move, that's why. God, oh, don't get cocky with me, mister. Can you bloody get inside? There you go. This get this part's really buggy because they actually never do the dialogue here. It's supposed to be dia dialogue saying, Emil, you stay back and watch the dude now. Six and nine and all that crap will run inside and find out what's happening. There we go. Alright. Come to here. A and, a and Y. There you go. Skip it. Grab a DMR. Throw a nade because you know there's a, there's a little there. He's going to be your main, main target right now. There you go. Once you kill the Zelt Elite, it's a lot easier. Because that means you've only got the Sword Elite later on, and hopefully nothing can throw a nade. So I'm going to scoot back over here just in case. You want to be very careful with what you're doing, because I don't want to die. And if you want to get Flawless Cowboy to work, you don't want to die either. The only issue that I'm... Ha oh, well, the only worry, worry I'm having is that I've never done this boost before. So I don't want to die and mess it up whilst I'm trying to do a video. But I know how to do it, so... It's just that I haven't. Right, okay. Here's the uh, Sword Elite. Now that was a good nade. <laughs> This grunt's not doing anything. Right, the the worry is that this sword will, eat, will kill me. There he is. Run! Oh no, I've lost my shotgun. So the way you get this to work is you just leave him to, to keep hitting George constantly. Boom, dead. Is that everything? There you go. Right, hopefully this works. You come over here, hit this, goes black, one, two, a little, a little bit longer, save and quit. Hopefully that works. If that doesn't work, that's going to be really annoying, but hopefully it did. Because you're supposed to get a checkpoint in there. I don't think that counted. No, it didn't. Right, let's see. Oh, I'm really worried. I've never done this one before, but that should work, hopefully. Yep. As you can see, Flawless Cowboy 2 out of 5, Demon 12 out of 18. And you can keep doing that constantly. It's your start of the game and it ends instantly. Oh, I am so happy that's worked. I'm going to start doing this for a while now. So this is my next com that I'm going to be grinding, I guess. <laughs> so that is pretty much every single uh, accommodation in campaign. Aside from small arms. On the Glacier mission that I showed before where you get pinpoint, I think you might be able to find a pistol somewhere. So try and find a pistol to do it. Because that's the only way I can think of doing it. But as you see, it's working fine. Because before I was on 1, and now I am on 3. So there you go, guys. It's been Spooks. There's your uh, sexy commendation tutorial. I have showed you... Right, I'll go. I'll recap. 
you can get all of these six, one, two, three, four, yes, all these six from the only sword base, pinpoint, and precisely, and small arms, and the standard issue, or from Glacier, uh, Right of Way, and War Machine, as well as, well, that right, right of Way, War Machine from Long Night Solace, Nice Arm from Nightfall, Demon, and Flawless Cowboy from uh, Thingy. Winter Continuity. And there you go. That's how you get every single commendation in Halo Reach campaign. All in one video, just for you guys. I'll see you later, guys. Bye.